momentum. There is abundance as because we go on the offensive. Do you remember Peter's great confession? Jesus came to his disciples and said, in session with Philippi, he said, Who do men say that I the Son of Man am? Remember that? Some say you're John the Baptist, some say you're Elijah and Jeremiah, and I'm one of the prophets. And Jesus said, Who do you say I am? That's right. And Peter said, You're the Christ, the Son of the living God. I don't want to dwell on the confession of Peter, I want to dwell on the response of Jesus. Here's what he said. This is the right translation. Peter, you've said it right, but it's not because of your ability, it's because God the Father gave you that ability to do the Holy Spirit to say what you said. God revealed the truth to you. Now you said the right thing because God revealed it to you. And then he said, Peter, you're a rock. In other words, Peter, if you're in the Greek, a fragment of a rock. You're like a pebble. You're like a chip off the old. And then he said, and on this rock, and here's what I believe in, as you look at the Greek, I believe Jesus pointed himself and said, and upon this rock, Peter, I'm going to take fragments of the rock, and I'm going to, upon this rock, build my church. And the gates of hell will not prevail against him. See, that's where we miss it. Not only is the, the church the Lord's church and not your church, hello. Maybe I'll say that again. The church is the Lord's church. It's not your church. Amen. You didn't die for the church. Jesus died for the church. Amen. Last time I checked, you're the bride. He's the groom. But he also says, I will build my church upon me. We build the church upon Christ. And then notice what he said. And the gates of hell will not prevail against you. I've never heard of anybody going forward in battle and saying, let's pick up those gates and go fight. You? you miss it if you're not careful. Jesus is saying a critical thing here. He is saying the enemy is on the defense. My church is an offensive army. We're on the move. We're on the offense. We're on the attack. And as we bring people to Christ, and as we pray for people who are healed, as we minister to people who are hurting, he says all we're doing is as an offensive army picking up and ministering to the spoil of the battle that Jesus won on the cross almost 2,000 years ago. I don't know about you, but that puts a spring in my step and a smile on my face to realize it's about Him. So that's why when you gain momentum, there's an abundance because you go on the offense. And uh, if this all turns out positive, I can, I'll, I can absolutely assure you we will not be on the defense. We will be on the offense. When I played football, I didn't play defense. I played offense, so I don't know anything about the defense. Except when it comes to spiritual warfare, I do. But I know a lot about the offense. About being on the move. About attacking. About setting goals. About having vision. So, when there's a loss of momentum, there's scarcity, and we, we become defensive. But then, when we get it turned around, there's an abundance attitude, and we get on the offensive. When there's scarcity, we maintain. Oh, I cannot stand to maintain. That drives me crazy. I, I'm the kind of guy, Sam, will tell you, I'm the kind of guy, when I start feeling a pain, and start an attitude, I will just change furniture to soft change something. <laughs> That's just the way I'm wired. So on the scarcity side, we maintain, but on the abundance side, what happens? We begin to create. In church, we need to learn to create. We need to learn to be innovative. And if we don't do in innovation what works for somebody else, we discover together what works for us, what God's leading us to do, and we do it. And it becomes creative. And everybody goes, man, I was a part of that. I had my hands in the mix. Gosh, God used me. God used my gifts. God used my talents. What church is all about. Amen. When there's a scarcity, we, we, uh, we guard and protect. We have a fortress mentality. But what did I tell you about the church? We're an offensive army. 